Oh, what the hell is this? What is this? Oh, oh, I have a great idea. This is obviously a great idea. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Hello and welcome back, Rock here, and welcome to a new installment of Monumental Victory, a series dedicated to the playing of Victory Monument style maps. So I have a new map for you you guys today, titled Dire Dreams. It is a map created by Lord of Lagiacris, and was suggested by me, uh, suggested to me by him um, on YouTube, and as the map fits the criteria of a Victory Monument style map. I figured, why not? Uh, it's as fun as a, the Super Hostile maps are. It is enjoyable sometimes to branch out and try other other maps in the genre. Now, from what I understand, there's one key difference between this style, this map, and per se a Super Hostile map, in that you are not searching for wolves, you are searching for lapis lazuli and each chest or each lapis box only contains one lapis lazuli so it's a lot more uh, I guess it's a lot rarer to a lot rarer and a lot harder to get them back to your uh, your victory monument but with that we'll go through and we'll double check the signs to see if there's any special rules that, are need, that we need to keep in mind uh, welcome to Dire Dreams. This map map instead of collecting wool, you collect uh, lapis in the box o lapis. Uh, this is my second map, but it is a prequel to Animus Awakening. Enjoy and please die. Thanks. Uh, complete the monument standard rules. Okay, it looks like the same rules. Read if you have no Animus. Or if you have not played Animus Awakening, in my maps instead of collecting wool, you must collect. You must, must collect lapis lazuli blocks. <laughs> These may sometimes be easy to obtain. The real challenge is finding and delivering the lapis to the victory podium. Also, there is only one lapis per chest, so protect your lapis. If you lose lapis, either accept your loss or start over. So I'd say conquer, then deliver. Also, watch out for the void. Yeah, not very friendly. Alright, so yeah, as I thought, it's only one lapis per chest and um, conquer before delivering or finding real challenge is finding and delivering uh, conquer then deliver so yeah what we're probably gonna do is we'll probably go through the map and we'll clear the areas um, and once we find the I guess victory podium we'll backtrack and grab gather our uh, wolves or lapis blocks and then return them to the podiums once the area is safe uh, that way we don't have to risk losing them. Hint, search the pyramid for treasure. Uh, area, disastrous dimension. I was going to use lily pads, but they burned. I hope you do too. Aw, thank you. Okay, so this, from what I can tell, this is a four gap. Um, it is technically possible to make a four gap. Um, but it is a very, very tight jump, and I seriously doubt I'm gonna make that jump uh, so I'm not even gonna not even gonna risk it as so that's what these signs want us want us to do so they want us to burn some signs just want to see the world burn uh, see I'm nice free cactus farm who needs a sword I do I would love a sword okay so I think the easiest thing to do is we'll probably just take these uh, glowstone and make some glowstone blocks. Uh, that should help us bridge bridge across a little bit. And save us the uh, effort of having to parkour across that and most likely die. Okay, and. As all these pigments are spawning, I'm going to assume we're in the void. And Hell Dimension, yep, okay, we're in the void. Or not void, her. we're in the nether. Okay, so we got six glowstone, a piece of sand. That's... Oh, 
Well, fuck. I'm already messing up. We're gonna have to do a little bit of parkouring. Um, there's a chest over there. And there's something over there. I'd like to get over there and see if I can see anything. Ugh. Oh, uh, that's gonna be a rough jump. Oh, that's gonna be a rough jump. Okay. Okay, so this is sandstone. Luckily, sandstone is quite easy to break with your fist. If this was something like enderstone, enderstone's a bitch. Um, I had mentioned before that there was another uh, CTM style map I was playing with some friends, and the map had end stone all over the place, and it was really hard to break anything around. Because end stone just takes so long to break with your fist. Uh, oh, still no sword. Yep, be creative. Blaze. Uh, those. No, we're not using those. Screw you. Um, sand. Sand. Oh, sand! Oh, shit! Oh god, I lived! Oh, there's lava! Oh god, I need blocks. Give me blocks. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Well, there's one way to get some blocks. I don't, I think it wasn't necessarily intended that we live right there. But, uh, we did. Well, it's one way to go about getting some blocks. Let's grab this last block and work our way out of here. We have two stacks of sandstone. That should be quite sufficient for what we or what we're gonna want to do. So let's break that. Do that. All right, so um, I don't think we're gonna have to worry. I wonder what that portal is. That is the question. Um, let's go see what that portal is first, just in case. I'd hate to miss something as simple as that. Okay, these are sandstone, so there shouldn't be anything there. Um. The only point for this area is for SMP spawning, and if you die in the first cave. Okay. Nothing, no chest? Okay, perfect. Alright, so... No harm, no foul. Didn't lose anything for going in there. Other than, I guess, a couple sandstone, but... I think we should be fine. Okay, so we need to... Find a safe way across... Over there. I see some sand over there. Mm. Let's go over there. Let's go investigate that sand. Just in case. He said to explore the pyramid, which I'm going to assume what we're in is a pyramid. So, might as well go double check. Alright. Sand. 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 Thanks. Waste of my time. I don't know why that's like that. I don't know. I'm just going to build across now. So one thing I'd like to point out about this map, I guess in comparison to um, previous maps I've played in the Monumental Victory series, is that unlike the uh, Infernal Skies and the Sea of Flames and Kaizo Caverns, uh, I actually haven't played this before, so I'm not... Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm not exactly sure uh, what to expect. Yeah. So I'm more 
I think more or less gonna have to keep my eyes open a lot more. A lot more so than I did in the previous ones, previous maps. Because at least those I had, I, if I had, I've either played them, uh, had either played them recently, like the Sea of Flames, or I had played them at one point in the past, like Kaiser Caverns. Uh, this one I haven't actually played before, like I said before, and so this should be, this is going to be a new experience for, I guess, both you guys and myself. Okay, so, this is a sandy ceiling, and there's, as you can see, a little nub of sand under that chest. You just love my chest. So, there's most likely one possible scenario for what's going to happen with this. Breaking this chest is going to cause a block update, not sand, which will cause some chain reaction of block updates um, somewhere, which will cause all of this to fall. Now, there's one thing that we can, there's two possible solutions we could do to this. We can break it and run over to that entrance and hope we make it out of the way in time. Or we can use a torch and hope that there's not TNT falling with it. Um, one pro tip that I, I, I can give to you guys for just plain vanilla Minecraft in general, not necessarily a complete the monument style map, is that if you are digging straight up, you should always try to have a torch at your feet. Um, that's going to save you from being suffocated from sand and gravel and stuff as the sand will fall down and it will, or sand or gravel will fall down and it will break on the torch. So with this we're gonna we're gonna attempt to stand right here. Break this chest. Yeah. Block update. Yep, yeah, here it comes. Okay that I was gonna say oh shit that but that lava's not uh not updating. Okay. Alright, so yeah, just like I thought it was booby trapped. Um, we had that little bit of sand over here that I saw before. And then we have these, I guess these various holes up here. And then that obsidian thing up there. Which looks like some type of light source up there. And some iron bars? Maybe. Okay, so we have our sandstone still. Hmm. Let's take a look over here. Where is it? Sounds like there's a lot of zombies. Hmm. I wonder how bad it is actually in there. Let's see if I can fist my way through here. Come on, take it. Take it. Actually, one awesome thing that would we could potentially do with something like this is that we could farm farm the zombies. I don't know if there's a spawners in there, or we could fa potentially farm the zombies for iron swords, um, shovels, iron caps, or food in general. So, so, so. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. I think we might be able to might be able to go this way and if anything this is gonna at least give us food which we're running pretty low on uh oh they're starting to swarm Ugh. actually one thing we can do we can do this now it's all a matter of if I can set it down in time. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I was going to put sand under this block, break it, and put one of these cactuses there and let the stupid mobs walk into it. But that's probably going to waste... Just consume a lot of my time. Alright, so I'm going to keep, keep farming this. Um, I would... Oh, I'm going to keep recording it just in case anything happens, but I figured that if I'm just going to keep farming these zombies right here, it's, I'd rather not waste you guys' time. And if I get anything, like an iron sword or anything, I will make sure to edit the cut right there. And uh, 
Other than that, I will see you guys shortly. Oh, man, I'd really love to punch that pigman right now, but that's probably going to have far greater repercussions than I'd want. Okay, I blocked myself off. Uh, we could probably use this. Use this kind of advantage to fix that. To farm some pigment as well. Because we can potentially get a gold sword, a chain of gold sword off of them. Uh, we can get some more rotten flesh. But I'd really like to just get an iron sword, though. Uh, iron sword, iron helm, shovel, meh, not so much. The sword, though, would be really good. Uh, but I'm gonna keep farming from this vantage point. I will be back in a minute. Oh, man. Oh, I fucked myself. Ah. Uh -huh. I tried to get sneaky. It didn't work. I fucked up. Alright, let's not do it that way. Though we're gonna need to get back in there to get our our blocks. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. Pigment, out of the way. Out of the way. Come on, move. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, you're angry at us. No, I'm sorry. I figured they would, uh, they would have lost their anger on us when, uh, we died. I guess. I guess not. Oh, these ones are going to be pissed at us too, aren't they? Oh, they are. Oh, God, no. I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up hard. Maybe they won't be angry at us now. Probably, probably will. Oh my god. There's so many pigmen! Pigmen, go away! <laughs> no! God damn. Yeah, fuck you guys. Oh, they're coming. Fuck her off. Oh, fuck me. No, I don't want to lie. I don't want to go lava. Oh. Uh, so many, so many pigmen. All right, I'm gonna have to kill him. Kill him like this. <laughs> I don't want to kill you with my bare hands, but I will if I have to. I'm not gonna get any of your loot. I'm so sad. Why don't you burn? Why can't you burn? I'm so sorry. You did this to yourself. Hey guys. Oh, you are angry. Oh no, I don't want to do this! No! 
Ah. Okay. Pigment problem dealt, dealt with for now. Assuming there's no, no pigment over here that wanna eat our face. God damn it. There's plenty of pigment that wanna eat our face. Fuck you all. I'll take you all on. One fist at a time. I'll be back in a second. I'm just gonna kill all these guys one punch at a time. Be right back. Alright. I have my stuff back. I'm not proud of what I had to do. But I killed them. I killed them all. I'm very, very not proud of myself. Yeah, screw you, Scumby. Uh, I need food. I got a little bit of food. Uh, nothing useful other than a little bit of food. Alright, so my question is do I want to keep pressing forward this way or do I want to try going the other way? Mmm. What does it look like? There's only two mobs there. I think we might be able to make it through this pretty easily. Uh. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, man. Oh, this is gonna not turn out well. Oh, I really gotta seal that up. This is one way to kill him. Hopefully, I don't lose too many drops. Alright. Uh oh. I don't want to get surrounded again! <laughs> again! I really, really need a sword. There you are. Hey, buddy. I wish I had a bucket of water for you. Oh. Oh! Oh, fuck me. Oh, I don't wanna die, don't wanna die, don't wanna die, don't wanna die! Oh, your brace! Fuck me! Fuck me! Where did the fuck that place? 